I'm working on my mother-in-law's 1999 Chevy Blazer with a 4.3 liter in it. And I'm going to show you how to uh, replace the fuel pump. It failed. I'm uh, siphoning the gas out of it right now, so I thought I'd shoot a video and show you how to do that. Uh, of course, these gas vapors are dangerous, and uh, the odor is just horrible. Uh, I've got an attached garage, and it's winter, and I've got the door down, so I uh, try not to spill any, and I'm putting the gas in uh, buckets with lids on it, or you need a gas can. And uh, I've just got this siphon pump here. Oh, also, uh, if you are in an enclosed garage and you've got like a pilot light on your uh, hot water heater that's in the garage or a uh, uh, heater for the garage, uh, be aware of that. You might turn those pilot lights off. Anything with a pilot light, you might want to uh, turn those off just for safety's sake. I've just got a hand pump here. And uh, on the most GMs that I've seen, you can't just run a siphon hose into the down down the fill neck of it because they've got kind of a ping pong ball in there. It's kind of a uh, kind of a check valve. So uh, I tried that on this one and I got the hose down there there part way and it must have hit that uh, ping pong ball. So be aware of that. So there's a small hose on the tank. I removed it. I'll show you that. Here's the hose right here and it went on that nipple right there and there's my siphon hose that I put down in the tank so uh, I've been siphoning the fuel out of it I think it's just about done but once you once you get this going it'll go ahead and siphon it's real slow but it does work and of course it's cheap too Sometimes it stops on me. I don't know why, and I have to keep keep doing it. It's probably just about empty, so that's why, I imagine. And another thing, this small hose was kind of molded to the fill hose. I don't know if you can see. There's kind of a line on that hose where they were molded together. Uh, and it was just kind of a thin piece of rubber, so I took a razor knife and cut that apart so that I could get that small hose off of there and uh, also of course you need to get it jacked up off the ground the tank is about 12 inches tall so you need that uh, frame at least 12 inches off the ground the tank is plastic so once if you get all the fuel out of it then it won't weigh very much at all but I'll still probably take my floor jack sit under the middle of it there uh, while I let it down just so I can kind of control it and then drag it out and uh, replace the fuel pump. And here's another little tip I did. Uh, I took a carpenter's level and when I was jacking the truck up, I uh, put that carpenter's level on the bottom of the gas tank and I have it uh, either level or just a little bit downhill to the rear. That way I can get all the gas out of it. You know, if it was uh, downhill to the front, you still might have a gallon or two of gas in it if you uh, try to siphon it or pump it out from the back so at least get it level and let's go underneath and I'll show you the uh, hoses like I said I'm still coming apart I was waiting for that fuel to siphon so I thought I'd shoot, shoot a video And you can reach up here with your hand, which is nice. Sometimes you can't even get to anything until you drop the tank a little bit. But here's a mirror. You can see the three black plastic fuel lines. And there's uh, two ears on each line. You need to squeeze those ears together. And then the plastic line will just pull right off of the uh, fuel pump module nipple. And then there's two connectors. I don't know if you can see them very good. They're lay laying up there. But... Uh, there's two connectors you need to unplug and they've got a kind of an ear you need to pull up and, and pull the connector out and you can reach those pretty easy also. And then that rusty ring, that's your retaining ring. And I believe that style rotates uh, counterclockwise just like an inch or something. You can see it once you get it down. And uh, rotate that and then the ring will come off and you can lift the fuel pump module out of the tank. And... I'll show you the mounting straps. Let me get my light. Here's 
Here's your back mounting strap. It's got a bolt, takes a 15 millimeter uh, socket. And then your front strap has a nut. You'll need a, a deep socket, of course, for that. And also, you probably should change your fuel filter to protect the new pump. And I've got it removed right now. I was kind of in, in the middle of doing that while I was waiting. There's your uh, rear fuel line. It screws into the back of it. It's got an O-ring on it. And then there's your front line right there. It's got two plastic ears you squeeze, uh, which I've got that clip removed now. You squeeze that and it'll pull off. And this, uh, if I can get my light in there just right, that plastic ring right there, the filter just slides in it. Had a lot of trouble getting it slid out. I mean, I've done a million of them before, but it's just really tight. So anyway, I uh, kind of cheated and uh, took my diagonal cutters <laughs> and uh, cut that. And I started to go back together with the filter. And actually, they gave me the wrong filter, so I had to take it back out. But that steel line right there is, is solid enough. And, and at least that uh, new fil filter will fit in that clamp. It'll support it good enough. So that's where it, it's right beside the transfer case. There's the back of the transfer case. I believe that's about it. I wish I could show it to you after I had it down. But here's the new uh, fuel pump module up here on the workbench. There's your three, where your three lines hooked to, and then your two connectors hooked to, hooked to those areas right there. And there's your uh, fuel gauge sensor. Be kind of careful with that when you're uh, messing around with this module. But that module will set in the tank. That's spring loaded. You just push it down and then put your retaining ring on there. And it comes with a new gasket also right there. And then this funnel, this type of funnel here works good. It fits right in the uh, fuel tank uh, filler neck and kind of holds itself upright. And you can pour your fuel back into it. I think that's about it. Like I said, just be careful with the fumes and uh, they are noxious and it's kind of a safety factor. So be careful with that. I believe that's about it. And thanks for watching.